Hello friends, welcome to my new video. Uh, it is the introduction to ion-ion carbide equilibrium diagram. As I said in my last video that I will be posting my new video for introduction to ion-ion carbide equilibrium diagram. So here it is. Let's get started. So basically first of all have a look at this diagram. You are very familiar about it now. Now the first of all the point is the various phases in FEFEC diagram. So the first phase is the liquid phase. It is the liquid solution of carbon in iron. Here you can see this liquid area. Wait, I will show it by marker. So basically this is your region of the liquid carbon. Your carbon carbon is in the liquid form. Okay. The next phase is the delta ferrite phase. It is the solid solution of carbon in iron. It is soft and ductile phase. Since it is soft and ductile, it can be cold worked without cracking. Maximum concentration of carbon in delta ferrite phase is 0.09% at 1493 degrees Celsius. 1493 degrees Celsius is the temperature of peritectic transformation. Crystal structure of delta ferrite is body centered cubic structure. So this is your delta ferrite region so this is your delta ferrite region existing at between 1539 and 1400 degrees celsius the third one is the austenite phase that is the gamma phase it is the interstitial solid solution of carbon in gamma ion it has high solubility of carbon up to 2% at 1147 degrees Celsius. It does not exist below 727 degrees Celsius and maximum carbon content at this temperature is 0 0.8. But uh, have a look at this line. Actually austenite does exist below 727 degrees Celsius but it is in very less quantity. That is uh, means very less quantity. So this uh, austenite which, which exists below 727 degrees Celsius is called as retained austenite. So it has FCC structure, phase centered cubic structure. It is soft, ductile, malleable and non-magnetic in phase. So this is your austenite phase. As you can see here, the gamma symbol is there. This represents, the colored figure represents here, the austenite region. Okay. Now the next phase is the alpha ferrite phase. It is the solid solution of carbon in alpha ion. It has low solubility of carbon about 0.025% at 727 degrees Celsius. It exists at room temperature. It has body centered cubic structure. It is soft and ductile phase. So can be cold worked without cracking. This is your alpha ferrite region. Uh, 
the dotted line here is representing that alpha ferrite is existing up to room temperature okay the colored region is the alpha ferrite region now the next phase is the cementite phase that is the fe3c it is the intermetallic compound of iron and carbon it is called intermetallic because there is high percentage of carbon in this phase and due to this there is a metallic structure formed in iron it has high carbon content of about 6.67 percent it has a complex orthorhombic crystal structure having 12 iron atoms and 4 carbon atoms in a unit cell it is hard and brittle phase okay uh, this is your cementite phase existing above the 1147 degrees celsius but it is in the combined form that is the liquid carbon plus fe3c so the yellow colored region is the cementite phase the next phase is the lead burite it consists of eutectic mixture of austenite and cementite that means uh, lead burite is a mixture of austenite and cementite lead burite is observed in cast ions containing 4.3% carbon now we will see the lead burite region So this hole is a lead burite region. Actually, lead burite is in the combined form with other elements like uh, austenite, cementite, etc., etc. No, etc. There are only two phases here: the austenite and cementite. And the combined form of austenite and cementite is called as lead burite. Okay, now this is your lead burite region. So the next phase is the transformed lead burite. It consists of perlite and cementite. So transformed lead burite is a mixture of perlite and cementite. Perlite. Perlite is alpha ferrite plus cementite. And cementite is, as you all know, Fe3C. So this is the region of transformed lead burite. Okay. So this is the region of transformed lead burite. It is a mixture of the cementite and perlite now we are over with the uh, transform uh, i'm sorry various phases in fefec diagram now we will look to the transformation reactions in uh, fefec diagram okay so the first reaction or the transformation is the peritectic transformation in this reaction the solid 1 with liquid transforms to solid 2. Reaction takes place at constant temperature 1493 degrees Celsius. The actual reaction which takes place is delta ferrite plus liquid carbon changes to austenite. Delta ferrite has 0.1% carbon, liquid carbon has 0.55% carbon and austenite phase has 0.18% carbon. Now have a look at the figure of peritectic transformation. So this is the 1539, 1400 degrees Celsius points. And this point is, uh, say, tells us 0.1% carbon, this point 0.18% carbon, and this point represents 0.55% carbon. So, 
सो द कंबाइंड फॉर्म ऑफ डेल्टा प्लस लिक्विड चेंजेस टू ऑस्टेनाइट सो दिस इज द पॉइंट वेर ऑस्टेनाइट फेज बिगिन्स एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पेरिटेक्टिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट हैज पॉइंट एटीन परसेंट कार्बन ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इज द यूटेक्टॉइड वन इन दिस रिएक्शन सॉलिड वन ट्रांसफॉर्म्स टू सॉलिड टू प्लस सॉलिड थ्री रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस एट कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर ऑफ सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्शियस द एक्चुअल रिएक्शन विच टेक्स प्लेस इज द गैमा ट्रांसफॉर्म्स टू अल्फा फेराइट प्लस सीमेंटाइट बोथ ऑफ दिस कैन बी कॉल्ड विद कंबाइंड फॉर्म कैन बी कॉल्ड एज पर लाइट अल्फा प्लस एफ थ्री सी गैमा इज जीरो पॉइंट एट परसेंट कार्बन कंटेनिंग जीरो पॉइंट एट परसेंट कार्बन हियर अल्फा इज कंटेनिंग जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव परसेंट कार्बन हियर एंड एफ थ्री सी इज कंटेनिंग सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन परसेंट कार्बन हैव अ लुक एट द फिगर ऑफ यूटेक्टॉय ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो दिस लाइन इज द सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्शियस टेम्परेचर लाइन that is the recrystallization temperature line so here is the alpha phase and here is the gamma phase and here is the cementite phase eutectoid reaction takes place at 0.8% carbon which comes under steels that is 0 to 2% carbon <laughs> represents steel now the third one is the eutectic transformation in this reaction liquid transforms to solid 1 plus solid 2 that is there are two solids emerging from the liquid phase reaction occurs at 1147 degree celsius and 4.3% carbon the actual reaction which takes place is liquid gives gamma plus cementite phase liquid has 4.3% carbon here the austenite phase has 2% carbon here and the cementite phase has 6.67% of carbon here have a look at the figure of eutectic transformation so this is the point of eutectic reaction the the portion about this point is the liquid phase of carbon this is the liquid plus gamma phase this is the liquid plus cementite phase the reaction occurs at 4.3% carbon from 2% carbon to 6.67% carbon there is existence of cast iron and this reaction occurs at 1147 degree celsius temperature line this portion consists lead burite plus cementite and this portion consists lead burite plus perlite and this is the line where lead burite exist that is the 4.3% carbon line okay now we have ended with the transformation reactions in fefc diagram now we will see the critical temperature lines so critical temperature lines there are 1 2 3 4 5 5 fire temperature lines the a0 temperature line this temperature line lies in the bottom section of iron iron carbide diagram that is the 210 degree celsius temperature line here cementite changes from ferromagnetic to paramagnetic in nature the a1 temperature line it is the lower critical temperature here at 727 degree celsius temperature austenite to perlite eutectoid transformation takes place the a2 temperature line this indicates curie temperature that is 768 degree celsius below which a ferrite below which alpha ferrite is ferromagnetic in nature the a3 temperature line this indicates upper critical temperature below which ferrite starts to form from austenite the acm temperature line this indicates upper critical temperature below which cementite starts to form from austenite so you can have a look at this okay well take a screenshot and you might read it in the future so that's it from this video thanks for watching have a nice day bye